£2,000 better off. To win gold medals for one's country and still feel a second-class citizen is the bitter paradox facing many coloured Americans. Tommy Smith sets a new world record in the 200 metres with John Carlos taking the bronze. The triumphant prelude to that gesture of defiance at the medal ceremony, a gloved fist protest for black power. For many other coloured athletes, black power has a purely athletic significance. This was the fantastic finish to the 5,000 metres. With an incredible burst of speed after such a distance at such an altitude, Mohamed Gamoudi of Tunisia holds off Kenu and Temu of Kenya, two of the greatest athletes in the Games. Of all Britain's golden hopes, Lillian Board looked a certainty in the 400 metres all the way to the final straight. Lillian's on the inside lane, but in lane five, the dark-haired Colette Besson from France. And Colette just pulled ahead by a vital point one of a second to win. <laughs> Terrible disappointment for Lillian, but second place is still a silver medal. Mexico, the swinging city. Hungary Shibotsky takes the gold in the hammer. Dedicated concentration from Lucis of Russia, winning the gold in the javelin and willing it to the mark through every yard of its flight. America's Bob Seagram blasting off towards a golden altitude and a world pole vault record, 17 feet, 8 and a half inches. One event where you can succeed even if you do end up flat on your back. From the altitudes of Mexico down to sea level and the most extraordinary Olympics ever held. Ever since June last year, these ships have been trapped in the great bitter lake in the Suez Canal. Now, to interrupt the tedium, the crews of four British ships and 11 of other nationalities have held their own mini-Olympics. I'm happy to say Britain scored two gold medals in archery and football. But the biggest reward must have been breaking the monotony and a sense of participation in that world of sporting competition so many thousands of miles away. <laughs>